Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about properties of normal distribution. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the probability density function. One, we have provided you the graphical intuition about the normal distribution. In this class, you are going to get a deeper understanding along with probability density function. Whatever we discussed graphically in our last class, you will get deeper understanding along with probability density function. That is the use of this class. So please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So in order to make you understand the properties, uh, we are going with an example students probability and statistics uh, subject marks in a college. If you if you plot this data, it, this data is uh, following a normal distribution. So this data is having a mu means mean value is 40, 55 on an average uh, students got 55 marks. That is what mean value means and standard deviation is given as 10 means there is a deviation of 10 marks uh, between the students. That is what uh, this deviation deviation says standard deviation means measure of spread so this is our data so for this if you plot the normal distribution how it will be and what are the properties so we will take this example for understanding how we plot this data so on the x-axis we are going to take the marks on the y-axis we are taking the frequency or probability values means how frequent means if you take the marks value 55 what's the frequency how many students have got that uh, value 55 that is what we call it as probability value so 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 you can plot it as frequency or probability value these these discussions made in our previous classes uh, now coming to understand in our last class we said that uh, always normal distribution follows symmetric distribution uh. so why why it is following symmetric distribution with the probability density function we are going to understand so in our data our mean value is 55 and standard deviation is given as 10 now coming to the probability density function this is the probability density function f of x mu sigma square can be written as 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 x minus mu by sigma whole square means what we have to understand our random variable is 45 our random variable is 55 our random variable is 65 when we substitute here in the our random variable in this equation we will get when you substitute we will get this value y value y is equal to f of x means uh, when we substitute x means we will get the y value why when you substitute 45 you will get this value see here if it is symmetric means uh, mu 55 from 55 one, 10 units left side from 55 10 units right side those are the points we have taken if it is symmetric means those two points should be on the same height same y value then we can say it as symmetric yes we are going to get that how we are going to get that when we substitute see x value if you substitute remaining all are the same it, it changes this value is going to change so when we substitute 45 minus 55 by 10 which is minus 10 minus 10 by 10 means minus 1 when you whole square it when you square it it's 1 same 65 minus 55 by 10 10 by 10 1 square it 1 that's why these two values are same these two values this value is same for both 45 and 65 that's why our probability for density function is going to provide a symmetric shape curve for normal distribution so that is the point you have to understand that is the property so graphically we said that in our previous class now we are showing with probability density function coming to the next one maximum probability occur at mu means see here what is the maximum probability value we have we have that maximum probability value at mu means at mean value why we are having that maximum value at mean value on the left hand side from the mean value it is following the symmetric shape and it is going to reduce on left hand side and right hand side it is going to reduce maximum value is at mean value why it is maximum at mean value let's try to understand from the pdf probability density function so at mean value if you want to find this means substitute mean here in the x position mu minus mu by sigma mu minus mu means 0 0 by sigma 0 0 whole square 0 
So e power minus e power zero, which is one. So when you substitute mu in this equation, we are getting this term as a equal to one. So we remain with one by sigma square root of two pi. So this is the value we get if you substitute mu. For other remaining things, uh, we are adding this e power minus one by some value we'll get. Uh, e power minus means uh, one by. So always the remaining at remaining positions the value is great smaller than this. That's why maximum value obtained at a mu position. Mu means mean position. So maximum at a mean. So from this one more un, uh, other point also other property also understand we have to understand. So this is the mean value. Mu is the mean value at this position we are having maximum means frequency is mag maximum means probability is maximum. So that is what mean mean for normal distribution mean is equal to mode is equal to median all points are same this is the same value you will get for normal distribution why why mode why mode is same as mean for normal distribution what's the mode value you will take maximum frequency value is considered as mode maximum frequency occurred at mu position so mean is equal to mode why it is uh, call it as median half of the area is on the because it is symmetric half of the area is on the right hand side half of the area is on the left hand side in continuous random variable a probabilities are distributed based on areas means 0.5 area is on the right hand side 0.5 area is on the left hand side sum of all the probabilities should be equal to 1 0.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 1 that's why median is the this is the center point you consider it as median so this is the point you have to understand from the maximum uh, maximum probability value and one more important point you have to understand from this uh, at mu f of x uh, mu sigma square is given as 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi this term is constant uh, means this function the maximum probability depends on sigma means standard deviation uh, as the measure of spread increases see 1 by sigma from this you have to understand maximum depends on sigma sigma small f of this will be large sigma large because it is 1 by it is 1 by sigma is on the denominator so that's why in our last class we discussed that uh, our normal distribution as the spread increases our shape of the uh, shape of the normal distribution will be like this as the spread decreases shape of the normal distribution will be like this why because maximum value depends on the sigma spread it small maximum is large it is going up spread is small so maximum point is going up spread is large maximum point is going down that's why the shape takes like this here the shape takes like this so these are the points you have to understand and next point is very very important to understand now coming to the next point normal distribution curves has different sizes and shapes yes we had observed that we are having different sizes and shapes based on the mu and sigma value as you change the mu and sigma value the size and shape of the normal distribution changes but there is one and only one normal distribution for any given mu and sigma. So it is a bit confusing, but there is only one and only one normal distribution for any given sigma and mu value. What is that? Let's try to understand graphically what is that with an example. You take two normal distributions. This is one normal distribution. This is another normal distribution. The mean value for this normal distribution is 15 and the sigma is 5 value means standard deviation is 5. Mean value for this is 25 and standard deviation is 2.5. That's why as the standard de spread decreases, the curve goes up. As the spread increases, the curve goes down. It, the height will be reduced. It is going to spread like this. So now the point you have to understand here. See, this is the mu value means what is the mu value 15? What is the standard deviation value 5? 15 minus 5. 
what is mu minus sigma mu minus sigma is given as a 15 minus 5 means from the mean we are one standard deviation away on the left hand side 15 minus 5 what is the value 10 at 10th at the value 10 mu plus sigma what's that mean we are one standard deviation away on the right hand side from the mean value mu minus 2 sigma means we are two standard deviations away mu plus 2 sigma means we are two standard deviations away on the right hand side mu minus 3 sigma means we are three standard deviations away on the left hand side from the mean so these are the values if you consider that so you take any normal distribution this normal distribution or no, this normal distribution so mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma means mu minus one standard deviation on the left one standard deviation on the right the area between this the area between this will always be 68 percent out of total area what's our total area one 68 percent of the area lies here you take any normal distribution that is what the meaning of that you take this normal distribution mu is 25 sigma is 2.5 means that's why the shape goes up you take mu minus sigma mu minus mu plus sigma the area between this see up to here the area between this 60 percent of the area lies between a one standard deviation away on the left and one standard deviation away on the right that is what the meaning of the above statement you take any normal distribution means uh, area means uh, our probabilities are distributed based on the area okay now if you take two standard deviations away from left and two standard deviations away on the right uh, the area between this two standard deviations away on the left and right the area between this will be always 95 percent means 95 percent of the data spread from two deviations away from the mean value two standard deviations away from the mean value if your standard deviation is small the shape is small it is going up to make the area 95 percent that is the point you have to understand if your standard deviation is small means two standard deviations away from mean two standard deviations away from mean the area will be 95 percent in order to make it 95 it is going up that is how the function is working so mu minus three, th three sigma to mu plus three sigma means 99.7 percent of the data means our probabilities are distributed three deviations away from the mean three standard deviations away from the mean three standard deviations away on the so the area between that three standard deviations to three standard deviations on the right is 99.7 percent so these these we are these properties will help you a lot in uh, in data science when you are doing real-time examples and the last property you have to understand f of x mu sigma square the function which we consider it is whatever the x value substitute it will never become zero so that's why our normal distribution curves are always see three standard deviations up to here after that it is going from minus infinite to plus infinite but the value is very very small as it is going away from mean value it is it is uh, coming near to the x-axis but it will never touch the x-axis if it is touch the x-axis means uh, the value is zero it is never going to touch the x-axis the probabilities are always greater than zero very negligible values will be there uh, as you are uh, moving away from a mean value if you move away from three standard deviations away from mean means almost all the negligible value will get uh, on the left hand side also same these are the properties you have to remember uh, you have to understand uh, for normal distribution this helps you a lot uh, in do, in solving the problems which we discuss in our coming classes hope you understand the concept of properties of normal distribution if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you